Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Carly Tanager and I am playing some Xenosaga Episode 3! Hey look, it's the door that probably has Mary- or not Mary, Shelly behind it. <laughs> yep, yep, got insta attack. This is definitely the one that has Shelly in it. <laughs> or at least somebody else important, but I can't think of anybody else on the Durandal actually. Uh, well, these guys should be decently simple to take out. Because storm wolves. <laughs> because massive break attack causes the feats of my enemies to glitch out, apparently. Okay, that guy doesn't like ice. I mean, I don't like ice either. Like ice isn't frozen water, I don't like ice isn't ice. If you know, you know. <laughs> Break it! Cause I don't want it to break me. I don't miss. Bonk. And then just because of BM and I'm an asshole. <laughs> I really don't need to do this. <laughs> but I can, so I will, so I did. <laughs> Because they were screwed anyway once I had all three of them broken. Shrug. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum. Shelly! Shelly, are you here? Hey! Oh, Little Kanan. <laughs> I forgot about Kanan. <laughs> There's nobody else important on the Durandal. Shelly, are you okay? I'm fine, but the Arbiter Code has fallen into enemy hands. I'm sorry. I failed to stop them. Yeah, you Don't suck, Kanan. None of you did anything wrong. Yuriev is likely headed to the isolated hangar to release the seals on the emulators. Mm -hmm. I overwrote the gate ID, but it's only a matter of time before it's broken. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll stop them. So he already had the Arbiter Code, he just couldn't get through because of Shelly last minute hacking. The Elsa's in the dock. Kanan, escape and take her there. Understood. Be careful, little master. Right. Don't worry. Now that I sort of think about it, knowing this game in hindsight like I do... <laughs> This is totally the, um, what, what's gonna happen in a little bit is totally the excuse for the game to put Mary and Shelly on the Elsa. <laughs> in the target location to the isolation area. Cool. Which means it's time for me to get the fuck out! Gotta go blow everything up first. <laughs> I mean, I may be blowing up Kukai Foundation, uh, materials here, but... As you guys will shortly see, most likely in this episode, I'm pretty sure in this episode. Yeah, it doesn't matter what we do to the Durandal now. We can be blowing holes in the sides of the ship, it won't matter. Because Yuriev's gonna do something much, much worse to it. Hi, hey, don't. Ha! They can't go near the door because they don't want the glitch of... I don't know. Get Them getting near the door or something, I don't know. Is there anything in here? I swear, there should be a segment file on Or a segment address in here, right? Unless I just missed something. Because I can't think of a dungeon that doesn't have at least one segment address. Fuck off. <laughs> I still have this last one. Let me alone. I said, let me alone. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> I swear to God, if I get a copyright claim because I was going do to do to Benny Hill. <laughs> Seriously, no segment address on the Durandal? Oh wait, I haven't been to the park. Can I go to the park? I can't remember if the park was on that list or not. I do miss the park area on the Durandal. They had a very nice, like, lovely park with a nighttime setting with fireflies and everything. It was pretty nice. <laughs> not real fireflies, though, because there's nothing real in this universe. <laughs> I think they mentioned... Well, distinctly remember they mentioned at some point that you don't... 
find dogs and cats, real ones. They're all like realian cats and stuff. They don't have actual dogs and cats anymore. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, I can't go to the park. <laughs> okay, might as well. I mean, it wants me to go to the isolation. Isolation area, but... I'm not gonna do that. Because I want to get to the park. Because I swear, I know there's a segment I just on here, and I'm pretty sure I have the key for it. I think. Because of off-screen grinding. Okay. That's, uh... Just check. It doesn't look like there's anything over there. Can I loop these guys? Can I make a loop it a loop? Where are you going? See ya! Oh hey, the park does look pretty much the same. Oh, yep, I called it! I knew there was one back here! It's probably something I can only get to in, um... EVS mode, though. Something tells me this is an EVS mode thing. I don't want to fight that. <laughs> I really don't want to fight that. Hi, hey, dude. How you doing? Is it a puzzle? Oh, no. I can just blow it up. Cool. <laughs> On it. Sagman address. What? Okay, so there was one, I was just wrong that I had the thought of me having the key for it. Is there anything on the other side? Nope. I guess this means I can- Oh, sh I'm- <laughs> What in the world is the threat radius on some of these enemies? You figured he would've seen me. Hi. How you doing? Okay, bye. The isolation area. This is gonna go well. We're gonna get there and the emulators are already gonna be gone. <laughs> How they move them so quickly? I don't fucking know. Because those things are kind of large. And it's not like... <laughs> with the ES, they split it. Oh, they put in a pocket dimension or something. Or whatever, when they use their connection gears to get rid of the ESs. When they're not using them. It's like, but can you do that same thing with a fucking... <laughs> Emulator? I would think not, but this is gonna go well. I foresee this going well. Hi, Citrine! <laughs> How you doing? This is gonna go fine. Hi, Citrine. Hello, number 666. It's been a long time. She actually grew up. <laughs> the only one that stunted their growth <gasps> was Junior, even though Citrine's really short. S Citrine! I'm so happy to see you. You're the only comrade I have left. Comrade? Not true, actually. She's a URTV as well. Actually, all of the variant URTVs are technically alive, because Albedo's a testament, Negredo is being possessed by Yuriev, and Citrine's there, and Rubido's there. So they're all yes, alive. <laughs> female type number 668, Citrine. She's a variant URTV like us. If you're on guard here, then Dad must be inside. Yep. And if he is, I won't let you interfere with Father. Are you an idiot? Don't you understand what's going on? If we don't stop him, this entire universe will be in danger. You're the one who doesn't understand, Rubido. Have you forgotten our duty? Our mission is to destroy Udu. It doesn't matter what happens to the universe as long as we accomplish that. I... <laughs> So Dad plans to use the power of the emulators and the original to destroy Udu? A failure who's forgotten his role as a weapon and abandoned his duty has no right to speak to me. Rude. Citrine, stop! I don't want to lose any more of my comrades! Comrades? You abandoned us. You're no comrade to us. Citrine! I forgot to mention, but I have one more duty. I have the power to destroy the Red Dragon, just like Negredo. Do you think you can defeat me? Yeah, pretty easily, because sure, you may have the ability to counteract the red dragon powder power that's in Rubido. It's not specifically you can instant kill Rubido. No, you can counteract his URTV abilities. He still have an entire party behind him, so. 
Hi, Citrine. This is gonna be... fun. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> okay. We're gonna play this way? Oh, fuck, I only have one cleanser. Free stability. Fuck. And I don't think removers work. I think only cleansers work for this. Well, I need to get that off of Momo immediately. God, I hope she only does that once, because that is annoying. Might as well throw, like, an entire party of people you don't care about in first so they get sealed. I don't miss! I don't miss misses immediately! I might have her. Either here or within an attack or two because uh, she's seen better days. <laughs> she has, uh. She has seen better days. Uh, I don't really have a good attack for Ziggy to use here. I guess Painkiller is the best one. And yes, I pulled out these guys and then I realized wait a minute, I can just use tech attacks almost entirely with them because it didn't. It only seals uh, ether attacks. Because <laughs> they all have break attack techs. <laughs> Rip. I didn't need to use that one, but whatever. Aw, she's so close to dead. I'm just gonna kill her. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Get fucked. <laughs> Weapon development area key. Okay. Oh, right. That's for something in the EVS plate. Why were we born? Uh. For what reason do we exist? Uh. Answer me, Rubido. You betrayed your comrades. You killed your brother. Why are you still alive? To keep my promise. Your promise? Yes. The reason I exist is to keep the promise I made. You're still haunted by that woman's shadow. I pity you. He's talking about Sakura. <gasps> Citrine! Poor Rubido. <laughs> Rubido's seen some shit in his life. <laughs> what could that alarm be? The get the fuck out of here alarm. Bastard. He activated the emulators! <laughs> so, they disposed of Citrine. I hear you, you piece of shit. What is it? Oh, I see. You're sad. You had a connection to that unit, but that's nothing more than an illusion. You are weapons. Rude. You see, you're nothing more than one of my parts. You don't need any meaningless emotions. Anything more is completely unnecessary. Behold this glorious picture. My revenge will begin. Now's not the time, Yuri. Of victory against his terror has also through that door is some freaking mummified <laughs> noses. <laughs> Is that you, Rubido? It's been a long time, hasn't it? I must say I've missed you. Listen, we both know what'll happen if you even think about touching those. Give back Garnet's body and get the hell out of here! Oh, this is I'm gonna end well. so disappointed <laughs> in you, Rubido. This circumstance is your fault entirely. What? There's no one else to blame but yourself, and I'm afraid I've been forced to take matters into my own hands. Since those incomplete units failed their mission 15 years ago. My fault? Oh, yeah? Are you planning on using the emulators and Omega to destroy Udu? It's not gonna end well for him. No, no, it isn't that sort of thing. Nothing can ever destroy Udu. I guess you really don't understand the reasons why I am here. All right, then, fine! Why are you here? In ancient times, people used to be together with God. People loved God, revered, and even feared God. Out of fear of the undying God, they sought divine power. This was a way for the ancients to resist him. Eventually, they found a method to become gods themselves. We have revived their relics, the Merkaba and the Zohar emulators, as well as Mizrahi's Y data which holds the records left behind by the ancients. This holds the instructions 
so that we may become gods. I love how Cha Chaos is like just standing there just taking this. He's like, Hoodoo is a god of this dimension. If in fact God cannot be destroyed, then we shall be the ones to become gods ourselves. God damn it, bro. Farewell, my son. I must go now. Remember your great father. Again, like, where does he think he's going? That door goes to- Damn it! Momo, can we stop the emulators? No, we can't! The controls are destroyed! There's no way to stop them! <laughs> that door goes to a, um... A room with, as far as I know, not another door out of it, so... <laughs> Yuri is stuck in there. It's heading for the Ark! Damn it! Dad's gonna ram the ship and the emulators right into the Ark! Yep. Now what? We'll purge the dock and escape! It's gonna be rough. We don't have any choice. Let's go! Gotta get the fuck out! No, seriously. Gotta get the fuck out. Because, uh, ramming the Drandal into that is going to end well. It's no good, little master. The remote control isn't working. We can't perform it from here. Then we'll just have to do it by hand. That's insane. A regular person would be caught up in the explosion caused by the purge. Hey, there's someone outside. <laughs> it's chaos and cosmos. It's always chaos and cosmos doing what is shit. Doing? Damn it, you two. <laughs> this is hardly the time, bro. Cosmos. Now. Tony, come on. Break through now. Yeah, yeah, got it! Like, wasn't aware that- Wasn't aware that the Elsa was stuck. Like, wasn't aware! Well. I'm pour out a cold one for the Durandal. you bro again it's not gonna end well for you well <laughs> omega got its proper power source And now the arc sort of looks like the Durandal. <laughs> yeah, no, the else or um, the Durandal's destroyed. It is completely destroyed. In fact, we will see its carcass later. <laughs> Torn in half, everybody on it is dead. What the hell is that? Like, this game! <laughs> the other games have some uh, carnage moments. No, this fucking game. <laughs> this game has a body count. <laughs> I'm detecting an enormous gravity deviation from inside. It is not a gnosis. It is likely caused by surplus energy leaking from Omega after absorbing the Zohar. It's an astounding amount of energy. With energy of this colossal magnitude, I guess his talk of joining the rank of gods may not have been a bluff. Does he really intend on becoming a god? Obviously. <laughs> Hi, Wilhelm, you piece of shit. Hi, Kevin, you bigger piece of shit. <laughs> Omega's awakening is confirmed. So it would seem. For the shift to the higher dimension, Yuriev will likely attempt to absorb Zarathustra. This may cause some effect on the system. That is not the only function of Zarathustra. The measures I've taken are not recorded in the Y data. 
Uh oh. The information he obtained is incomplete. Let us watch over the proceedings. He's a truly fascinating human being. You're so slimy, Wilhelm. You're so fucking slimy. <laughs> In order to conquer his fear, he chooses to absorb that fear and become that fear himself. Shall we send Albedo for the retrieval? He wants to go, doesn't he? It's what he's always desired. It will also work out well for the awakening of the vessels of Anima. It will take a little more time before she awakens. In the meantime, let's enjoy the entertainment. <laughs> oh, you piece of shit. Morgulus, what is it? Your Eminence, our fleet has already sunk 70% of the Federation fleet. All that remains is to await your order. Give us the order to attack the Ark. Morgulus, I don't even recall giving you an order to move the fleet. Why should we stand by and watch while the original Zohar is right before our eyes? Reasons. <laughs> Dmitry Yuriev has already taken action. We can't just hand it over without any protest. Know your place, Morgulus. Just follow my orders. But... That is all, Morgulus. You are not permitted to touch the Ark. Pull back the fleet and leave Nictum. That's not gonna happen. Your Eminence. What does this mean? Is he saying to give up on the Zohar? Yep. I don't know. But don't you feel as if something has been out of place? Ever since Ren Le Chateau appeared? It's as if we are no longer acting for our own objectives, but for some other will. Are you insinuating that his eminence is betraying Ormus? Such I mean... insolence will not be forgiven. <laughs> Would it be the first time seeing as, you know, Margulis betrayed Sergius? in order to instill Heinlein as the leader of Ormus. So... <laughs> Even for you, Chief Inquisitor. I am aware of that. But still... I know we have to do something. But just how are we supposed to get close to that thing? Don't worry about it, it's fine. I don't even know the enemy's location. What part do you want me to stick this ship in? Phrasing. How about you stop talking and use your heads a little? Indeed. We've got all these people here and yet none of them are useful. <laughs> Hi, Doctus. <laughs> Doctus? Why are you? Who's that? She's an extremely skilled Scantia agent. Oh, is that you, Jin? You have the same enigmatic expression on your face you always do. Oh, ha. Huh. And I see you haven't changed either. It's rather unusual for you to show your face here. Also, she has not like, y'all know each other? What the hell? <laughs> I contacted her. What? Why would you contact someone like her? My, are you sure you want to be that rude to me? You'll regret it later. <laughs> she has a plan that can solve our current dilemma. That's why I called her. What plan? A way to get inside that thing. Huh? It's simple. You just need to gate out inside of it. So, I'm only noticing this again because of the increased polygon and increased rendering of the emulate of the emulator I'm using to play the game. <laughs> the flat JPEG texture that they're using for Abel's Ark in the front of the ship there is so low res. <laughs> that way you can infiltrate it and now no you can't can stop you. Now you can't unsee it. A short jump within the same signal? Can that be done at this short a range? If it's us, yes. Even if we do that, we don't know where Dad is. You should be able to tell where Guinan is. Mmm. Right, you are TV. <gasps> I gave my gift to that reality. It's still Negredo's body. Don't. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Momo, analyze this. It kind of looks like a floppy desk every time I see this it. This is the gate-out interference program that Scantia uses. With this, we can ignore the signal and dive out by force. Well, isn't she clever? So we use this to get dead, huh? That's gonna end well. Let's just okay. dive into a giant Mama, gnosis. Place the gate jump program. Because diving into a giant gnosis worked so well for everybody in the first game. I mean, when you literally were running around in a giant cathedral ship. We don't have much time. Get it ready now. I'm 
<laughs> I'm Ziggy! <laughs> no. Oops. I'm Ziggy! Let's not be Ziggy. I don't want to be Ziggy. I, got, I gotta be my girl. <laughs> gotta be my girl. There we go. Everything's right with the world. Yeah, now we have Mary and Shelly on the ship. I'm more worried about Mary. Mary's fine. <laughs> Mary's fine. <laughs> She's fine. She's fine. It's fine. Okay, that's gonna be it for this video, guys, because I've been going for 40 minutes. My name is Miss Scarlet and I've been playing since then. It's like episode 3. I'll see you all in the next video.